Hi everyone, it's Arthur here at ArthurEaseYourMind.com and Arthur Ease Your Mind on YouTube. I'm an intuitive consultant and psychic advisor. And as always, thanks for stopping by. And if you're new here, subscribe. We'll talk about that later. So in the meantime, I want to say thank you to everyone. Uh, I mentioned the migraines and everybody wrote in suggestions and solutions. And it was really, it was really nice. My little trick is your peppermint patties. Keep them in the freezer. I get a migraine. Instead of taking a pill sometimes, I have one of those. It helps. Anyway, moving on. I want to sum it up first with what Joey Farrell wrote. How to cope with the collective trauma? Question mark. It's overwhelming. Thank you, Arthur. Love listening. You managed to make me laugh while listening to the most depressing news of the world. I'm asking for divine love to flow into my heart and out to all. Thank you, Joey. Yes, it's time for most benevolent outcomes for the world and to throw it into every dark nook and cranny that you can find or think of. But as you know, the last three weeks, I have been posting stuff about how to stay out of overwhelm and resentment. Five little things we can do. I will post it again in the about section. In the meantime, here's a shameless plug. Listen to some guided meditations. There's this guy named Arthur on YouTube. He's got a few. And one of them is about stress and anxiety. It's written in such a way that when you're finished, you may fall asleep, but loop it so that your subconscious keeps on hearing it as you sleep. Try it. It might work. In the meantime, MAGA Mike Johnson. He puts the OMG in OMG. John Holden, what do you pick up around the new speaker of the house? Priyanka, I hope I said your name right, said it best. Mike Johnson is a lunatic. If people Google some of the things he said in the past, they would be horrified. Not only has he said some vile, disgusting things about gay people, he's also an election denier. And this is the person who is third in line to the presidency now. Absolutely terrifying. Yeah, it is. They just made this guy a Speaker of the House who's never been on any committees. Nothing. Except giving speeches to rallies about his beliefs and stuff like that. But like Sandra in Connecticut, oh God. We have a monster for a speaker. Please tell us how long he will be there. And then Marilyn, is Mike Johnson going to be kicked out of the speaker seat? I love this one most. Mary, he's a right wing, as you can get. They usually have secrets. Well, I'll be honest with you. When I first looked at this, first of all, I think every psychic said that Jim Jordan was not going to get in. And then Scalise, and then Emmer. Well, they started that like silence whisper campaign against him behind his back because he, at the last minute, agreed to same sex marriage. That's how extreme these magnet people are. If you don't agree with them, they kick you out. So he does have secrets. He does have secrets. Everybody has secrets. But when I looked at this, besides throwing up in my mouth, I kept on getting the image of him leaving and he would not be there after May of 2024. And the word that came up around it was scandal. It may have to do with a big lie from his past. Something is coming to the surface. I'm feeling the earliest it can start whisper will be in the end of December into January. But I feel it's going to be more towards January and February when we're in the sign of Aquarius. It just starts surfacing. And the more he denies, the more people are going to find stuff. It kind of reminds me of the stuff with Kavanaugh. But this time, they will follow through on it. And he's going to have to step down. I mean, I wrote some stuff out. 
and I gotta be honest with you, when I, I posted the thing about I thought it was gonna be gone in May and hope it was sooner. Sherry voices of the swamp wrote me right away saying, as someone from Louisiana, all I can say and not get sued for it, there is more to this man and his wife, and I don't mean in a good way, than everyone knows. They are from an extremely evangelical cult where anyone who doesn't eat, breathe, sleep, poop at their level is a sinner and must be saved by any means. I'm down in Southwest Louisiana, but you hear rumors, you know what I mean, et cetera. Very creepy. Well, I started looking at this guy. And yeah, the the gay stuff, oh my God. And um, he agreed, I got to read this. He agreed to the keynote speech titled, The Bible, Equipping the Man of God with Politics and the Culture War at a conference hosted by Pastor Kevin Swanson. He's Pastor Swanson? Well, in 2015, he made headlines for supporting Uganda's anti-homosexual bill, also known as the Kill the Gay, and called for all LGBTQ people to be executed and put to death or face life in prison. Round them all up. Now, before Mike Johnson gave the speech, there's a website, NCRM, New Civil Rights Movement. They were going to publish an article, so they asked, hey, do you have any comments? And they flatly ignored them. So, but after, after they published it, then they got a response. More or less one of those Oh, he didn't really know who he was and was a friend of a friend that asked him to do this. And yeah. And I've got swamp land I can sell you in Louisiana with a bridge in Brooklyn. But after NCRM's article ran, Johnson's name was removed from the schedule of the Bible Family Conference. But that's not all. And it doesn't appear that's, that Johnson has ever denounced extremist anti-gay hate from this man, even though he said he didn't know him and he left, blah, blah, blah. Also, his wife, Kelly, she's from another planet. Um, she runs a counseling business that advocates the belief that homosexuality is comparable to bestiality and incest. And um, he and his wife have long intertwined their political and business lives with their beliefs. They became a known entity in the late 1990s when they went on national television as a face of Louisiana's new marriage covenant law, which makes it difficult and harder to get a divorce. Okay, so this is our new Speaker of the House, but don't give up. You got to fight. You got to fight it all. So do it. We can do it with most benevolent outcomes too. But as I'm going to skip forward here. As... Rayma Milan. Hello. Arthur, love your responses to my purposely silly questions. The silly question for this week is, what do you get vibrationally for the possible campaign slogan, make politics boring again, vote for Biden? Your companion in silliness. Well, guess what? Someone else answered that question for you. Lisa, Thank you, Arthur. I'm looking forward to your insight on this. Okay, people, what's Arthur's favorite three words? Vote, vote, vote. So please do not be a silent majority here. Get out there and vote and make, make yourself heard. So the only way we're going to get this man out of here and the rest of them. Now, 
Uh, there were some other questions here. I thought it was organized, but not. Josephine, will Congress at least agree to pass the budget this November? Thank you. <sighs> this is a hard one. Because I know that Trump and the rest of them are saying what they're saying. Don't pass the budget. Let everything crash. But I feel, I mean, the percentages I'm getting is 51. We don't go into default. 49% we do. Okay. But then we have Gladys. Hi, Arthur. Please tell us the new speaker will able to keep the house open and get the aid to Ukraine and Israel. I'm trying to be positive, but the more moves they make, I keep squirming. I appreciate all that you do to keep us calm. I know it takes a lot for me. Stay calm. Okay. What I get around this is the, he's aid will be given to Israel and to Ukraine, but they're going to cut how much they're giving. They're going to cut it. I think Biden had promised like one hundred and six billion dollars or something like that. I could be wrong. But they're going to give money, but not even half. And the sole purpose is because they want to make Biden look bad. Besides that, by not helping Ukraine, they're helping their friend Putin. Who Let's hope I'm right. We'll not be here to celebrate April Fool's Day. But in the meantime, what really annoys me is people like Matt Gates running around. We won. We won. We won. Well, there's an expression. You may have won the battle, but you didn't win the war. And believe me, sweetheart, it ain't over till the fat lady sings and she's in a coma. Well, she's diabetic, and I gave her a cake the other night. Oops, don't tell anyone. But the thing is, he's in trouble. I really feel after the first quarter of 2024, that's when some indictments are coming down. And he's on the list. Also, there was something beautiful that happened. To my lovely, tra my tragic girlfriend, MTG. Flynn wrote, please read on Representative Becca Balint, Virginia Democrat, bringing forth proposal to censure MTG for all her hateful, conspiratorial, discriminatory behavior. Will this be successful? Marjorie Taylor Greene finally faces punishment in Congress. I would recommend going on YouTube or Googling this woman and see what she actually said on the floor. It's horrifying. She went down a list of everything that Little Cloven Hoods has said. From, and it's so anti-Semitic, anti-gay, anti-Black, anti-Muslim, anti-everything. And she's encouraging people to, like, assassinate people. She's encouraging it, especially if you're Muslim. It's thinly veiled. But, no. She means exactly what she... You have to be Mr. Magoo not to see it. And I think you could see it. So, her days are number two. But the one thing that always gets me is when she's complaining about the wildfires in California caused by lasers in space by the Jews. If that were true, don't you think they would have blown up her house by now? Just saying. Entertainment purposes only. She's a vile person. And it's going to catch up to her. She's like that mean girl in high school. You know, just want to smack her. And she passed about being so religious. What I'm waiting for is the day when she has a come to Jesus meeting and she just bitch slaps her. Sorry, I just cursed. But that's what I hope. Yeah, she doesn't like what Jesus has to say. 
So she's in trouble again. She's going down. And also Hunter Biden's going after her too. And I feel that comes down in February for showing what the pornographic pictures that she did on the floor. Now, I can't pronounce your name. I'm just going to read your question. Arthur, thank you, dear. What do you see for Brandon Johnson, the new mayor of Chicago? He is taking on a huge task of issues, violent crimes, and entrenched corruption. He is a former teacher and an Aries. Yay. He has a new chief of police. Will he do a good job? Yes. I always felt good about this man. He may look like he's not doing something or like he doesn't know what he's doing. You ever watch Columbo? He's going to get to the heart of things. And the word I kept on getting from the guides is he's going to eradicate corruption. It's not going to happen overnight. But he's got names. So it may seem scary, but don't freak out. Also, Linda asks, thanks, Arthur, for sharing your gift anytime. Would you please ask your guides when the stock market will recover? It's getting scary. I don't do much with stock market. Nor games of chance. I mean, my games of chance is ordering from a new Chinese restaurant and hope I like it. But the thing here is, it's all going to even out. As we get after the election, things change. New laws get put on the books so that this idea of there's a little thing called separation of church and state. It's going to take some years, but it's going to catch up. And it's the idea, isn't it? Because these people want to make public schools into Christian schools. No, it's for the public. And not all the public are white, Christian, bigot, nationalists. Homeschool your kids. That's all I can say. I'm rambling, but please forgive me. It's been a long day. In fact, I got an announcement this morning that we're going to be coming by my apartment at 8 o'clock in the morning. You know, they do their scheduled things, landlords do. But it's okay. The bottom line is, people, it's scary. But this is where you have to have faith in yourself and in our representatives. Yes, I say vote, vote, vote. But also call, call, call. Write, write, write. Write, write your represent. I'm sorry. I can't enunciate, right? I mean, actually, people have wrote me about that. Sorry. I used to get a lot of speech therapy as a kid. And I get tired. And I get lazy. So anyway, no excuse. It's vote, vote, vote. Yes. But also call, call, call your representatives. Write, write, write your representatives. And then as a psychic, what I pick up is that things can start changing around. In order to get things to change and to get them to change, you have to change your behavior first. All right? No more lackadaisical, yeah, well, we're going to get in, so why do I need to vote? Really? Don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to the country. And don't do that to the world. In fact, when I started reading all this stuff about Mega Mike, it reminded me of, there was a musical back, I think in the 80s, with uh, Anthony Newley, it was called Stop the World, I Want to Get Off. But in my case, it's Stop the World, I Want to Throw Some People Off. Do you wonder who? But you guys are terrific. You really are. And I'm going to cut it short now. But I do have to say one thing. I just, I posted this on my community page that I just finished the voiceover for my next guided meditation, Awaken Intuition, a guided meditation with affirmations. And I hope to get it out there around November 1st. And don't forget, it's the holidays. Give me as a gift. Give a reading to your friends. 
and stuff like that. Okay. So it's easy. Just go to my website, ArthurEaseYourMind.com. And there's a blue button that says make an appointment or book an appointment. You take it from there. Okay. So we're coming into the Halloween season. So yes, I'll be in a couple of shows. I have to get a costume ready. Actually, what I think I was doing is not going, when the camera comes on, I'm not going to be here. I'll just whisper into the mic. I'm the invisible man. Isn't this a great idea? Just kidding. Anyway. Just take care of you. Take care of others. Be safe. Love yourself. Love others. We're in this together. You know that we are. And above all, what do I always say? Have fun. Stay amazing. Okay, everyone. Thank you.